Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the Solar System, after Jupiter. It is a gas giant with an average radius about nine times that of Earth. It has only one-eighth the average density of Earth, but with its larger volume Saturn is over 95 times more massive. Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture, its astronomical symbol represents the god's sickle. Saturn's interior is probably composed of a core of iron nickel and rock silicon and oxygen compounds. This core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium, and finally a gaseous outer layer. Saturn has a pale yellow hue due to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. Electrical current within the metallic hydrogen layer is thought to give rise to Saturn's planetary magnetic field, which is weaker than Earth's, but has a magnetic moment 580 times that of Earth due to Saturn's larger size. Saturn's magnetic field strength is around 1 20th of Jupiter's. The outer atmosphere is generally bland and lacking in contrast, although long-lived features can appear. Wind speeds on Saturn can reach 1,800 km per hour 1,100 miles per hour, 500 meters per second, higher than on Jupiter, but not as high as those on Neptune. In January 2019, astronomers reported that a day on the planet Saturn has been determined to be 10 hours 33 minutes 38 seconds plus 1 meter 52s minus 1 meter 19s, based on studies of the planet's sea ring. The planet's most famous feature is its prominent ring system that is composed mostly of ice particles, with a smaller amount of rocky debris and dust. At least 62 moons are known to orbit Saturn, of which 53 are officially named. This does not include the hundreds of moonlets in the rings. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and the second largest in the solar system, is larger than the planet Mercury, although less massive, and is the only moon in the solar system to have a substantial atmosphere. <laughs> Physical characteristics Saturn is a gas giant because it is predominantly composed of hydrogen and helium. It lacks a definite surface, though it may have a solid core. Saturn's rotation causes it to have the shape of an oblate spheroid, that is, it is flattened at the poles and bulges at its equator. Its equatorial and polar radii differ by almost 10%, 60,268 km versus 54,364 km. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, the other giant planets in the Solar System, are also oblate but to a lesser extent. The combination of the bulge and rotation rate means that the effective surface gravity along the equator, 8.96 m per square second, is 74% that at the poles and is lower than the surface gravity of Earth. However, the equatorial escape velocity of nearly 36 km per second is much higher than that for Earth. Saturn is the only planet of the Solar System that is less dense than water about 30% less. Although Saturn's core is considerably denser than water, the average specific density of the planet is 0.69 g per cc due to the atmosphere. Jupiter has 318 times Earth's mass, and Saturn is 95 times Earth's mass. Together, Jupiter and Saturn hold 92% of the total planetary mass in the Solar System. <laughs> Internal structure. Despite consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium, most of Saturn's mass is not in the gas phase, because hydrogen becomes a non-ideal liquid when the density is above 0.01 g per cc, which is reached at a radius containing 99.9% .9 of Saturn's mass. The temperature, pressure, and density inside Saturn all rise steadily toward the core, which causes hydrogen to be a metal in the deeper layers. Standard planetary models suggest that the interior of Saturn is similar to that of Jupiter, having a small rocky core surrounded by hydrogen and helium with trace amounts of various volatiles. This core is similar in composition to Earth, but more dense. Examination of Saturn's gravitational moment, in combination with physical models of the interior, has allowed constraints to be placed on the mass of Saturn's core. In 2004, scientists estimated that the core must be 9 to 22 times the mass of Earth, which corresponds to a diameter of about 25,000 km. This is surrounded by a thicker liquid metallic hydrogen layer, followed by a liquid layer of helium-saturated molecular hydrogen that gradually transitions to a gas with increasing altitude. 
The outermost layer spans 1,000 km and consists of gas. Saturn has a hot interior, reaching 11,700 degrees Celsius at its core, and it radiates 2.5 times more energy into space than it receives from the Sun. Jupiter's thermal energy is generated by the Kelvin-Helmholtz mechanism of slow gravitational compression, but such a process alone may not be sufficient to explain heat production for Saturn, because it is less massive. An alternative or additional mechanism may be generation of heat through the «raining out» of droplets of helium deep in Saturn's interior. As the droplets descend through the lower density hydrogen, the process releases heat by friction and leaves Saturn's outer layers depleted of helium. These descending droplets may have accumulated into a helium shell surrounding the core. Rainfalls of diamonds have been suggested to occur within Saturn, as well as in Jupiter and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. <laughs> atmosphere The outer atmosphere of Saturn contains 96.3% molecular hydrogen and 3.25% helium by volume. The proportion of helium is significantly deficient compared to the abundance of this element in the Sun. The quantity of elements heavier than helium metallicity is not known precisely, but the proportions are assumed to match the primordial abundances from the formation of the Solar System. The total mass of these heavier elements is estimated to be 19 to 31 times the mass of the Earth, with a significant fraction located in Saturn's core region. Trace amounts of ammonia, acetylene, ethane, propane, phosphine, and methane have been detected in Saturn's atmosphere. The upper clouds are composed of ammonia crystals, while the lower level clouds appear to consist of either ammonium hydrosulfide (NH4SH) or water. Ultraviolet radiation from the Sun causes methane photolysis in the upper atmosphere, leading to a series of hydrocarbon chemical reactions with the resulting products being carried downward by eddies and diffusion. This photochemical cycle is modulated by Saturn's annual seasonal cycle. <laughs> Cloud layers Saturn's atmosphere exhibits a banded pattern similar to Jupiter's, but Saturn's bands are much fainter and are much wider near the equator. The nomenclature used to describe these bands is the same as on Jupiter. Saturn's finer cloud patterns were not observed until the flybys of the Voyager spacecraft during the 1980s. Since then, Earth based telescopy has improved to the point where regular observations can be made. The composition of the clouds varies with depth and increasing pressure. In the upper cloud layers, with the temperature in the range 100 to 160 K and pressures extending between 0.5 to 2 bars, the clouds consist of ammonia ice. Water ice clouds begin at a level where the pressure is about 2.5 bars and extend down to 9.5 bars, where temperatures range from 185 to 270 K. Intermixed in this layer is a band of ammonium hydrosulfide ice, lying in the pressure range 3 to 6 bars with temperatures of 190 to 235 K. Finally, the lower layers, where pressures are between 10 to 20 bars and temperatures are 270 to 330 K, contains a region of water droplets with ammonia. Ammonia in aqueous solution. Saturn's usually bland atmosphere occasionally exhibits long lived ovals and other features common on Jupiter. In 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope imaged an enormous white cloud near Saturn's equator that was not present during the Voyager encounters, and in 1994 another smaller storm was observed. The 1990 storm was an example of a great white spot, a unique but short lived phenomenon that occurs once every Saturnian year, roughly every 30 Earth years, around the time of the Northern Hemisphere's summer solstice. Previous great white spots were observed in 1876, 1903, 1933, and 1960, with the 1933 storm being the most famous. If the periodicity is maintained, another storm will occur in about 2020. The winds on Saturn are the second fastest among the Solar System's planets, after Neptune's. Voyager data indicate peak easterly winds of 500 m per second. In images from the Cassini spacecraft during 2007, Saturn's northern hemisphere displayed a bright blue hue, similar to Uranus. The color was most likely caused by Rayleigh scattering. Thermography has shown that Saturn's south pole has a warm polar vortex, the only known example of such a phenomenon in the solar system. 
whereas temperatures on Saturn are normally minus 185 degrees Celsius, temperatures on the vortex often reach as high as minus 122 degrees Celsius, suspected to be the warmest spot on Saturn. Topic: <laughs> North Pole hexagonal cloud pattern. A persisting hexagonal wave pattern around the north polar vortex in the atmosphere at about 78 degrees north was first noted in the Voyager images. The sides of the hexagon are each about 13,800 km 8, miles long, which is longer than the diameter of the Earth. The entire structure rotates with a period of 10 hours 39 minutes 24 seconds the same period as that of the planet's radio emissions which is assumed to be equal to the period of rotation of Saturn's interior. The hexagonal feature does not shift in longitude like the other clouds in the visible atmosphere. The pattern's origin is a matter of much speculation. Most scientists think it is a standing wave pattern in the atmosphere. Polygonal shapes have been replicated in the laboratory through differential rotation of fluids. <laughs> <laughs> South Pole Vortex HST imaging of the South Polar region indicates the presence of a jet stream, but no strong polar vortex nor any hexagonal standing wave. NASA reported in November 2006 that Cassini had observed a «hurricane-like» storm locked to the South Pole that had a clearly defined eyewall. Eyewall clouds had not previously been seen on any planet other than Earth. For example, images from the Galileo spacecraft did not show an eyewall in the Great Red Spot of Jupiter. The South Pole storm may have been present for billions of years. This vortex is comparable to the size of Earth, and it has winds of 550 km per hour. Other features Cassini observed a series of cloud features nicknamed String of Pearls found in northern latitudes. These features are cloud clearings that reside in deeper cloud layers. Magnetosphere Saturn has an intrinsic magnetic field that has a simple, symmetric shape, a magnetic dipole. Its strength at the equator 0.2 Gauss 20 micro t is approximately 1 20th of that of the field around Jupiter and slightly weaker than Earth's magnetic field. As a result, Saturn's magnetosphere is much smaller than Jupiter's. When Voyager 2 entered the magnetosphere, the solar wind pressure was high and the magnetosphere extended only 19 Saturn radii, or 1.1 million kilometers miles, although it enlarged within several hours, and remained so for about three days. Most probably, the magnetic field is generated similarly to that of Jupiter, by currents in the liquid metallic hydrogen layer called a metallic hydrogen dynamo. This magnetosphere is efficient at deflecting the solar wind particles from the Sun. The Moon Titan orbits within the outer part of Saturn's magnetosphere and contributes plasma from the ionized particles in Titan's outer atmosphere. Saturn's magnetosphere, like Earth's, produces aurorae. Orbit and rotation The average distance between Saturn and the Sun is over 1.4 billion kilometers 9 astronomical units. With an average orbital speed of 9.68 km per second, it takes Saturn 10,759 Earth days or about 29 and a half years to finish one revolution around the Sun. As a consequence, it forms a near 5 to 2 mean motion resonance with Jupiter. The elliptical orbit of Saturn is inclined 2.48 degrees relative to the orbital plane of the Earth. The perihelion and aphelion distances are, respectively, 9.195 and 9.957 astronomical units, on average. The visible features on Saturn rotate at different rates depending on latitude and multiple rotation periods have been assigned to various regions as in Jupiter's case. Astronomers use three different systems for specifying the rotation rate of Saturn. System I has a period of 10 hours 14 minutes 00 sec 844.3 degrees, d, and encompasses the equatorial zone, the south equatorial belt and the north equatorial belt. 
The polar regions are considered to have rotation rates similar to system I. All other Saturnian latitudes, excluding the north and south polar regions, are indicated as system II and have been assigned a rotation period of 10 hours 38 minutes 25.4 seconds 810.76 degrees d. System III refers to Saturn's internal rotation rate. Based on radio emissions from the planet detected by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, System 3 has a rotation period of 10 hours 39 minutes 22.4 seconds 810.8 degrees, d. System 3 has largely superseded System 2, a precise value for the rotation period of the interior remains elusive. While approaching Saturn in 2004, Cassini found that the radio rotation period of Saturn had increased appreciably, to approximately 10 hours 45 minutes 45 seconds plus or minus 36 seconds. The latest estimate of Saturn's rotation as an indicated rotation rate for Saturn as a whole based on a compilation of various measurements from the Cassini, Voyager and Pioneer probes was reported in September 2007 is 10 hours 32 minutes 35 seconds. In March 2007, it was found that the variation of radio emissions from the planet did not match Saturn's rotation rate. This variance may be caused by Giza activity on Saturn's moon Enceladus. The water vapor emitted into Saturn's orbit by this activity becomes charged and creates a drag upon Saturn's magnetic field, slowing its rotation slightly relative to the rotation of the planet. An apparent oddity for Saturn is that it does not have any known Trojan asteroids. These are minor planets that orbit the Sun at the stable Lagrangian points, designated L4 and L5, located at 60 degrees angles to the planet along its orbit. Trojan asteroids have been discovered for Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. Orbital resonance mechanisms, including secular resonance, are believed to be the cause of the missing Saturnian Trojans. <laughs> Natural satellites Saturn has 62 known moons, 53 of which have formal names. In addition, there is evidence of dozens to hundreds of moonlets with diameters of 40 to 500 meters in Saturn's rings, which are not considered to be true moons. Titan, the largest moon, comprises more than 90% of the mass in orbit around Saturn, including the rings. Saturn's second largest moon, Rhea, may have a tenuous ring system of its own, along with a tenuous atmosphere. Many of the other moons are small, 34 are less than 10 km in diameter and another 14 between 10 and 50 km in diameter. Traditionally, most of Saturn's moons have been named after titans of Greek mythology. Titan is the only satellite in the solar system with a major atmosphere, in which a complex organic chemistry occurs. It is the only satellite with hydrocarbon lakes. On the 6th of June 2013, scientists at the IAACSIC reported the detection of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons in the upper atmosphere of Titan, a possible precursor for life. On the 23rd of June 2014, NASA claimed to have strong evidence that nitrogen in the atmosphere of Titan came from materials in the Oort cloud associated with comets and not from the materials that formed Saturn in earlier times. Saturn's moon Enceladus, which seems similar in chemical makeup to comets, has often been regarded as a potential habitat for microbial life. Evidence of this possibility includes the satellite's salt-rich particles having an ocean-like Composition that indicates most of Enceladus's expelled ice comes from the evaporation of liquid salt water. A 2015 flyby by Cassini through a plume on Enceladus found most of the ingredients to sustain life forms that live by methanogenesis. In April 2014, NASA scientists reported the possible beginning of a new moon within the A ring, which was imaged by Cassini on the 15th of April 2013. Topic. Planetary rings Saturn is probably best known for the system of planetary rings that makes it visually unique. The rings extend from 6,630 to 120,700 km 4, to miles outward from Saturn's equator and average approximately 20 m in thickness. They are composed predominantly of water ice with trace amounts of tholin impurities, and a peppered coating of approximately 7% amorphous carbon. The particles that make up the rings range in size from specks of dust up to 10 meters. While the other gas giants also have ring systems, Saturn's is the largest and most visible. 
There are two main hypotheses regarding the origin of the rings. One hypothesis is that the rings are remnants of a destroyed moon of Saturn. The second hypothesis is that the rings are left over from the original nebula material from which Saturn formed. Some ice in the E ring comes from the moon Enceladus's geysers. The water abundance of the rings vary radially, with the outermost ring a being the most pure in ice water. This abundance variance may be explained by meteor bombardment. Beyond the main rings at a distance of 12 million kilometers from the planet is the sparse Phoebe ring, which is tilted at an angle of 27 degrees to the other rings and, like Phoebe, orbits in retrograde fashion. Some of the moons of Saturn, including Pandora and Prometheus, act as shepherd moons to confine the rings and prevent them from spreading out. Pan and Atlas cause weak, linear density waves in Saturn's rings that have yielded more reliable calculations of their masses. <laughs> History of observation and exploration The observation and exploration of Saturn can be divided into three main phases. The first era was ancient observations such as with the naked eye, before the invention of the modern telescopes. Starting in the 17th century, progressively more advanced telescopic observations from Earth have been made. The third phase is visitation by space probes, by either orbiting or flyby. In the 21st century, observations continue from Earth including Earth-orbiting observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and, until its 2017 retirement, from the Cassini orbiter around Saturn. Ancient observations Saturn has been known since prehistoric times and in early recorded history it was a major character in various mythologies. Babylonian astronomers systematically observed and recorded the movements of Saturn. In ancient Greek, the planet was known as Phaenon, and in Roman times it was known as the «Star of Saturn». In ancient Roman mythology, the planet Phaenon was sacred to this agricultural god, from which the planet takes its modern name. The Romans considered the god Saturnus the equivalent of the Greek god Cronus. In modern Greek, the planet retains the name Cronus. Kronos Kronos, the Greek scientist Ptolemy based his calculations of Saturn's orbit on observations he made while it was in opposition. In Hindu astrology, there are nine astrological objects, known as Navagrayas. Saturn is known as Shani, and judges everyone based on the good and bad deeds performed in life. Ancient Chinese and Japanese culture designated the planet Saturn as the Earth Star. Tuzing. This was based on five elements which were traditionally used to classify natural elements. In ancient Hebrew, Saturn is called Shabbathai. Its angel is Cassiel. Its intelligence or beneficial spirit is Agiel Hebrew, Azazel Romanized, Agiel, and its darker spirit demon is Zazel Hebrew, Zal Romanized, Zazel. Zazel has been described as a great angel, invoked in Solomonic magic, who is effective in love conjurations. In Ottoman Turkish, Urdu and Malay, the name of Zazel is Zahal, derived from the Arabic language Arabic, Jal Romanized, Zahal. Topic: European observations, 17th-19th centuries. Saturn's rings require at least a 15 mm diameter telescope to resolve, and thus were not known to exist until Galileo first saw them in 1610. He thought of them as two moons on Saturn's sides. It was not until Christian Huygens used greater telescopic magnification that this notion was refuted. Huygens discovered Saturn's moon Titan, Giovanni Domenico Cassini later discovered four other moons, Iapetus, Rhea, Tethys and Dione. In 1675, Cassini discovered the gap now known as the Cassini division. No further discoveries of significance were made until 1789 when William Herschel discovered two further moons, Mimas and Enceladus. The irregularly shaped satellite Hyperion, which has a resonance with Titan, was discovered in 1848 by a British team. In 1899, William Henry Pickering discovered Phoebe, a highly irregular satellite that does not rotate synchronously with Saturn as the larger moons do. Phoebe was the first such satellite found, and it takes more than a year to orbit Saturn in a retrograde orbit. During the early 20th century, research on Titan led to the confirmation in 1944 that it had a thick atmosphere, a feature unique among the solar system's moons. <laughs> <laughs> Modern NASA and ESA probes <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Pioneer 11 Flybe. Pioneer 11 made the first flyby of Saturn in September 1979, when it passed within 20,000 km of the planet's cloud tops. Images were taken of the planet and a few of its moons, although their resolution was too low to discern surface detail. The spacecraft also studied Saturn's rings, revealing the thin F ring and the fact that dark gaps in the rings are bright when viewed at high phase angle towards the Sun, meaning that they contain fine light scattering material. In addition, Pioneer 11 measured the temperature of Titan. Topic: <inaudible> Voyager flybys. In November 1980, the Voyager 1 probe visited the Saturn system. It sent back the first high-resolution images of the planet, its rings and satellites. Surface features of various moons were seen for the first time. Voyager 1 performed a close flyby of Titan, increasing knowledge of the atmosphere of the Moon. It proved that Titan's atmosphere is impenetrable in visible wavelengths, therefore no surface details were seen. The flyby changed the spacecraft's trajectory out from the plane of the solar system. Almost a year later, in August 1981, Voyager 2 continued the study of the Saturn system. More close up images of Saturn's moons were acquired, as well as evidence of changes in the atmosphere and the rings. Unfortunately, during the flyby, the probe's turnable camera platform stuck for a couple of days and some planned imaging was lost. Saturn's gravity was used to direct the spacecraft's trajectory towards Uranus. The probes discovered and confirmed several new satellites orbiting near or within the planet's rings, as well as the small Maxwell gap, a gap within the C ring, and Keeler gap, a 42 kilometers wide gap in the A ring. Topic Cassini-Huygens spacecraft The Cassini-Huygens space probe entered orbit around Saturn on 1 July 2004. In June 2004, it conducted a close flyby of Phoebe, sending back high-resolution images and data. Cassini's flyby of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, captured radar images of large lakes and their coastlines with numerous islands and mountains. The orbiter completed two Titan flybys before releasing the Huygens probe on 25 December 2004. Huygens descended onto the surface of Titan on 14 January 2005. Starting in early 2005, scientists used Cassini to track lightning on Saturn. The power of the lightning is approximately 1,000 times that of lightning on Earth. In 2006, NASA reported that Cassini had found evidence of liquid water reservoirs no more than tens of meters below the surface that erupt in geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus. These jets of icy particles are emitted into orbit around Saturn from vents in the moon's south polar region. Over 100 geysers have been identified on Enceladus. In May 2011, NASA scientists reported that Enceladus is emerging as the most habitable spot beyond Earth in the solar system for life as we know it. Cassini photographs have revealed a previously undiscovered planetary ring, outside the brighter main rings of Saturn and inside the G and E rings. The source of this ring is hypothesized to be the crashing of a meteoroid off Janus and Epimetheus. In July 2006, images were returned of hydrocarbon lakes near Titan's North Pole, the presence of which were confirmed in January 2007. In March 2007, hydrocarbon seas were found near the North Pole, the largest of which is almost the size of the Caspian Sea. In October 2006, the probe detected an 8,000 km diameter cyclone like storm with an eyewall at Saturn's South Pole. From 2004 to 2 November 2009, the probe discovered and confirmed eight new satellites. In April 2013 Cassini sent back images of a hurricane at the planet's North Pole 20 times larger than those found on Earth, with winds faster than 530 km per hour, 330 miles per hour. On 15 September 2017, the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft performed the grand finale of its mission, a number of passes through gaps between Saturn and Saturn's inner rings. The atmospheric entry of Cassini ended the mission. Topic. Possible future missions The continued exploration of Saturn is still considered to be a viable option for NASA as part of their ongoing New Frontiers program of missions. 
NASA previously requested for plans to be put forward for a mission to Saturn that included an atmospheric entry probe and possible investigations into the habitability and possible discovery of life on Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Observation. Saturn is the most distant of the five planets easily visible to the naked eye from Earth, the other four being Mercury, Venus, Mars and Jupiter. Uranus and occasionally four Vesta are visible to the naked eye in dark skies, Saturn appears to the naked eye in the night sky as a bright, yellowish point of light. The mean apparent magnitude of Saturn is 0.46 with a standard deviation of 0.34. Most of the magnitude variation is due to the inclination of the ring system relative to the Sun and Earth. The brightest magnitude, minus 0.55, occurs near in time to when the plane of the rings is inclined most highly, and the faintest magnitude, 1.17, occurs around the time when they are least inclined. It takes approximately 29.5 years for the planet to complete an entire circuit of the ecliptic against the background constellations of the zodiac. Most people will require an optical aid very large binoculars or a small telescope that magnifies at least 30 times to achieve an image of Saturn's rings, in which clear resolution is present. Twice every Saturnian year roughly every 15 Earth years, the rings briefly disappear from view, due to the way in which they are angled and because they are so thin. Such a disappearance will next occur in 2025, but Saturn will be too close to the Sun for any ring-crossing observation to be possible. Saturn and its rings are best seen when the planet is at, or near, opposition, the configuration of a planet when it is at an elongation of 180 degrees, and thus appears opposite the Sun in the sky. A Saturnian opposition occurs every year, approximately every 378 days, and results in the planet appearing at its brightest. Both the Earth and Saturn orbit the Sun on eccentric orbits, which means their distances from the Sun vary over time, and therefore so do their distances from each other, hence varying the brightness of Saturn from one opposition to the next. Saturn also appears brighter when the rings are angled such that they are more visible. For example, during the opposition of 17 December 2002, Saturn appeared at its brightest due to a favorable orientation of its rings relative to the Earth, even though Saturn was closer to the Earth and Sun in late 2003. From time to time Saturn is occulted by the Moon that is, the Moon covers up Saturn in the sky. As with all the planets in the Solar System, occultations of Saturn occur in seasons. Saturnian occultations will take place 12 or more times over a 12-month period, followed by about a five-year period in which no such activity is registered. Australian astronomy experts Hill and Horner explain the seasonal nature of Saturnian occultations. This is the result of the fact that the Moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted to the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, and so most of the time, the Moon will pass above or below Saturn in the sky, and no occultation will occur. It is only when Saturn lies near the point that the Moon's orbit crosses the plane of the ecliptic that occultations can happen, and then they occur every time the Moon swings by, until Saturn moves away from the crossing point. <laughs> Notes <laughs>